everybody, Jason here of Ghostbusters News, and I just want to wish everyone out there a very happy and safe St. Patrick's Day. And I thought in celebration of the big day, instead of getting a little tipsy, we would take a look back at the classic real Ghostbusters episode, The Scaring of the Green. Now the episode opens up at a swamp, or better yet, should I say a bog, because coming out of that water is the bog hound. Or as I knew this character as a kid, a four-eyed terror dog. I mean, I can't be the only one when I was five years old who saw this episode and at first thought this was a terror dog. Now, speaking of flashbacks to the original film, the Ghostbusters are once again seen on the job in a lush ballroom. But this time around, they're not busting Slimer. Instead, they're after this crude-looking thing. And eventually, it takes refuge inside the carcass of a turkey with Egon uttering the immortal line, Stop that turkey! Oh, I should also mention that the mayor is in attendance. I invited every important Irishman in New York to the St. Patrick's Day dinner. And also, his wife. <laughs> what? Another one? Whoop. Oh, wait, wait, Peter, did you just, I mean, is she... All I saw was a quivering green blob. I'll tell her you said that. Okay, great, so he didn't kill anybody. Moving on. Give us a break, Frump. It's almost St. Patrick's Day. We're gonna miss the parade. This episode has already mentioned St. Patrick's Day like five times within the first couple of minutes. And on top of that, we now have the introduction of this character. I'm Deputy Police Chief O'Malley. I was wondering if you Ghostbusters could do me a wee bit of a favor. And O'Malley, well, he warns the Ghostbusters about the curse of the Boghound. Which at this very moment, guess what? It conveniently arrives in New York City. O'Malley, who is now the target of the Boghound, awkwardly carries around a patch of fur from the Beast. Which, strangely, Egon is just not buying at all. Family heirloom. That doesn't prove anything. Now, I'm curious at this point, is the Boghound like an actual ghost? Or just some weird mythological entity? <laughs> Walter Matthau and Jack Lemmon, everybody. Let's give them a round of applause. The Ghostbusters are then told the only way they can stop the Boghound is through the use of a four-leaf clover. And Egon, he's just getting sauce here. I mean, he's calling straight up BS on this. Four-leaf clovers, pots of gold. We'll be talking powdered bat wings by the time this is over. It's just not scientific. Oh, and Peter has pretzels. Pretzel? Spengler then goes against the first rule of ghostbusting, you know, never going at it alone, following the Boghound's trail to the New York City Zoo, and in turn putting all of his stock in science. Things go south rather quickly, with Egon eventually becoming the cream in the Oreo sandwich of death. Back Simba! Back Ungawa! Egon without glasses just looks wrong to me. Now apparently the Boghound has similar interests to that of an everyday dog, including playing fetch, which allows Egon to make his getaway. While all this is happening, Ray is looking for a four-leaf clover, which leads to a miscommunication with an Irish police officer, and, as the trend, is thrown in a garbage can. New York, everyone. What a town. Now when it comes to Peter, his day is going a bit better. Yeah. I got it! I got it! I did it! I did it! I did it! Yeah! I got the four-leaf clover! Oh, that is until... Oh, oh, yum, 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 yum. You know, I'll just say it again. They should have rebusted Slimer a long time ago. We wasted enough time on superstition. He ate it! A ghost is a ghost. Okay, so I guess the bog hound is a ghost after all. <laughs> So let's get this straight, O'Malley has an 800 pound vicious ghost dog coming after him, and he, for some reason, decided to still take part in a parade in the heart of New York City, surrounded by thousands of innocent civilians. Of course, the Boghound, it shows up, which does lead to the proton packs getting destroyed. The proton packs! Oh, and Peter also has another awkward moment with the mayor's wife. A four-leaf clover! We've got the Hound closing in on Ray, Winston, and O'Malley. Peter makes the save with that four-leaf clover. Go home! But uh, there's a slight problem with that idea. Hey, 
This thing's made out of plastic. Now in the end, guess what, Egon? He's right. He chooses science above everything else, and the Ghostbusters save the day, capturing the Bog Hound. Great work, Egon. I mean that. In recognition of their bravery, the Ghostbusters, they are proclaimed as honorary Irishmen. And Bankman, well, he gets what's coming to him. A little bit of a poke from the mayor's wife. It's a pleasure. Ow! Oh, I'm sorry. Let me try again. Ow! So that is our look back at the St. Patrick's Day themed episode, The Scaring of the Green. If you like this review and would like to see more, be sure to comment down below, let me know. And if you'd like to request an episode, sign up to the Ghostbusters News Patreon page. We have a link to that down below in the description. So as always, be sure to subscribe to Ghostbusters News here on YouTube. Bust that bell notification icon to stay up to date with everything that's happening within the Ghostbusters world. And I will see everybody right back here next time.